We're on to example three. We're going to solve triangle A, B, and C, given side, side, side. Just to point this out to you because I have to, side, side, side is a triangle congruence theorem, which means that no matter how we have these three side lengths, they're always going to have a unique way of drawing a triangle with these three side lengths. There's not more than one way to connect these three side lengths to make more than one different triangle. So there's no ambiguous case when you ever have a side, side, side. Let's label everything I have with the information. That's 14, this would be 16, and this would be 9. So here's your triangle. The last page says we want to go from longest side, largest angle, on down. So we're going to set up the same formula. We're going to use b squared equals a squared plus c squared. So actually that's a squared plus c squared. So that's 14 squared plus 9 squared minus 2ac cosine of angle b. These are constants. This is a coefficient. So I'm going to have to divide that after I subtract these to the other side. Calculators are meant for this kind of stuff. Let's use it. 16 squared. Subtract 14 squared. And subtract 9 squared. Next, we're going to divide by this quantity. It's a long quantity. I'm going to open a parenthesis. Negative 2 times 14 times 9. That gets the cosine of b by itself. Here we go. Now I'm going to do the inverse cosine, which given a ratio is going to give us an angle, an angle measure. I expect this angle to be in first quadrant because the cosine ratio was positive. Gives me an angle of approximately 85.219. Okay, that would round up. So 220. So the measure of angle B is about 85 degrees. The other two must add up to be something like 95 degrees. Okay, so now that I know this, I would use a law of sines. Not a big deal because this is a long side, this is a short side, and that would be the angle. So I don't worry about it when I'm going to set this up for sine A over 14 equals the sine of my answer divided by 16. Again, use the exact values as best as you can. So these are the two with numbers. So let's do 14 sine 85. Oh, let's do the answer divided by 16. This is going to equal the sine of A. Sine of A is approximately equal to 0 0.872. Sine inverse to find the angle given that ratio. A is approximately equal to 60.687. Now our triangle sum theorem, adding these two together, subtracting them from 180, will give us our last side. So excuse me, our last angle. 85.2198815. So that means the measure of angle C is approximately 34.093. And that solves this triangle. Now let's use an area formula for three given side lengths. This is called Huron's formula, also known as Hero's formula. To find the area of a triangle knowing its three sides, we don't have to use like the one half base times height. Um, or the one half AB sine C that we did earlier because we'd have to use and find one of these angles. I also don't want to go through the process of solving for one of these angles to use that formula. This is a neat formula. It uses something called the semi-perimeter. If I add the three side lengths together of the triangle and divide it by two, I get half of the perimeter. So we call this S, the semi-perimeter. And to find the angle, sorry, to find the area, we just take the square root of that semi-perimeter times the semi-perimeter minus each of these side lengths, A, B, and C. So we want to find the area of triangle A, B, C. Let's first find the semi-perimeter. The semi-perimeter is 7 plus 4 plus 9 divided by 2. So 7 and 4 is 11, plus 9 is 20 divided by 2. Our semi-perimeter is 10. 
Now the area of this triangle would be the square root of 10, the semi-perimeter, and then 10 minus each of these side lengths. So what's 10 minus 3? I'm sorry, what's 10 minus 7? 3. What's 10 minus 4? 6. What's 10 minus 9? 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate this. So let's see, I got 18 times 1 is 18 times 10 is 180. Now the square root of 180 contains a perfect square. I believe 36 is the largest perfect square that goes into 180. It goes in five times. So this would be 6 root 5. Our units would be in square units because this represents an area. And that's how you would find the area using this formula. First, you take all three side lengths, divide it by two after you add them together. That's called the semi-perimeter. The area is the square root of the semi-perimeter times the semi-perimeter minus side A, times the perimeter semi-perimeter minus side B, and times the semi-perimeter minus side length C. Always when you square root a number, you want to make sure you simplify it as best as you can. I kind of didn't show you this, was 36 times 5. This is a perfect square. When I bring it out, it becomes a 6 on the outside and a 5 on the inside. And there you have it. That's the area of this triangle. Let's move on to our next video.